Are you tired of people mindlessly throwing Bandit with Wavemaster and streamrolling your entire deck? I made an original deck specifically just to counter it and I would say it's working pretty dang well considering I have not lost to a single Wavemaster Bandit player yet. And in this video, I have a full guide explaining how this deck should be played against Bandit. For round one, just leave your Countess as she is and don't move it. Then place a P.E.K.K.A right in front of your Countess. This would result in one of three scenarios. The first scenario is your opponent throws his bandit on one of those two tiles, which is the best scenario for you, as your P.E.K.K.A will immediately be able to get a shot off. The second scenario is your opponent throwing the bandit in the middle, which is a bit worse since your P.E.K.K.A will not get a shot off on the bandit. The third one is your opponent playing it on the side, which is the worst of them all. Your P.E.K.K.A can be lured by something else in the middle, but you probably should still win it easily. Besides the P.E.K.K.A, you don't really need anything else on round one. I have so far never lost a single round one against Bandit Wavemaster, so it's a guaranteed victory. On round two, I usually like upgrading the P.E.K.K.A twice, since it's your main tank and win condition. Plus, upgrading it means you don't give information to your opponent. I usually go for first upgrade and third upgrade if the Bandit is being thrown beside the P.E.K.K.A, because the extra damage is so nice when the P.E.K.K.A is guaranteed to get a hit on the Bandit. If the Bandit was thrown in a way that would make the P.E.K.K.A miss, I usually like going for anti-stun because she's more likely to engage with the Wave Master, keeping the Bandit alive if she gets stunned. If you don't go for anti-stun, then your P.E.K.K.A might get bullied to death, which is not ideal as the Bandit will be getting way too much value. I still want by the way, that's like how good this deck against Bandit is. For round 3, I usually upgrade the P.E.K.K.A again and end up deciding between either placing it to Elixir Mini or just leaking Elixir to keep some information hidden from the opponent. Now, I don't want you to just copy every single step I do, I encourage you to look at your opponent's placement and do decisions on your own. Like for example, I placed my Ice Wizard here so he tanks the Cursed Tile instead of having my Countess getting absolutely destroyed. Be smart and be adaptive. For rounds 4 and 5, I would go as far to say game shouldn't go as far because 3 owing is very common against the Wave Master Bandit even if you're only using 3 star P.E.K.K.A by itself. But I'll tell you the point of each troop and then you decide based on the opponent's placement. First we got the Bowler. His main use in the deck is to stun and deal a bit of damage to the Bandit. The damage and extra stun can make it easier to take out even sometimes without getting a single super off. You could also use him to snipe a random ranged mini and lower their HP to increase the likelihood of Countess teleporting there. In a nutshell, Bowler is a nice surprise utility mini. The reason I picked Bowler over Prince is that if your opponent tries to Bowler your P.E.K.K.A, the second upgrade can cancel the stun so you don't really need a Prince to counter the Bowler. The Lumberjack is an interesting choice I took. I have him in the deck for a lot of reasons actually. One of the reasons is stopping a Prince since he's a cheap 2 elixir counter to a 4 or even a potentially an 8 elixir investment by your opponent. The second reason is in case of a P.E.K.K.A ditto matchup. Having Lumberjack in front to tank a hit when you the mirror matchup. Not only he will tank 24 damage swing that your P.E.K.K.A would have otherwise received, but upon dying he will raise your P.E.K.K.A and give it a bigger advantage over their P.E.K.K.A. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can get the clash ability and raise it on the beginning of the match or get the extra duration upgrade for a longer lasting rage. Ice Wizard is another insane pick because he's really strong. Slowing things can help your P.E.K.K.A deal with them before they escape away and he's great against other P.E.K.K.A players, just generally a great mini to have. The final mini here is a mini P.E.K.K.A, but admittedly it's just there to add an extra layer of bullying to bandit decks. This deck does struggle against long range things like Archer, Queen, Magic Archer, so feel free to swap him for something like a Fisherman. Just treat this final spot as a creative outlet and go crazy with it. It's worth mentioning that Wavemaster players have been evolving and using Witch. We all know how badly Pekka and Countess deal with the skeleton spam, so Fisherman is highly recommended, definitely not a bad choice. I'm recording this in August 4th as I'm sitting at 2100 trophies being near the top 200 on ladder, so this is your proof that this homemade abomination actually works on ladder. If you like this deck, then subscribe and have your notifications on because you might catch me streaming some top ladder gameplay with it for fun someday. If you got any questions, let me know down below in the comments my dude.